took them a couple years, but Universal has finally gotten their mojo back. I will forever blame Tom Cruise for the failure of the Dark Universe. I personally was looking forward to seeing Johnny Depp's performance as the Invisible Man, but now we'll never get that. So following the failure of the Dark Universe and the success of the Invisible Man, which made around $61 million at the box office on a $7 million budget, Universal is ditching the whole dark universe idea and now they're focusing on standalone monster movies and letting um filmmakers with a vision direct and produce those standalone movies which i feel like is a good idea but i also feel like a dark universe is still possible because they can give each monster their standalone film and then with that last standalone film they can add an after credit scene and set up a story to have the monsters in a movie together or maybe a new monster trilogy with all of them in it um but james wan is going to be developing the next universal monster movie he's not directing it but he is producing it and the writer of the movie will be the writer from the tv show supernatural now there is a rumor of what that story is going to be loosely about take it with a grain of salt this is from the hollywood reporter but um, they stated that with Shades of Disturbia, the story will focus on a group of teens who discovered that a neighbor is building a monster in his basement. Spoiler, the monster gets loose. Um, if you don't remember Disturbia, Disturbia was a 2000 and 2006, 2007 Shia LaBeouf movie where him and his um, either friend or girlfriend believes that his neighbor is a murderer and so he spies on his neighbor and that whole thing so apparently with a little bit of shades of that and from reading that i get i don't know why i get like goosebumps vibes from it and i also get uh fright night vibes from it you know that whole my neighbor is a murderer slash vampire slash whatever whatever and a bunch of teens are trying to get people to believe them or figure out what's really going on um yeah to me that sounds like goosebumps fright night and disturbia combined into one but hey if invisible man has proven anything it's that one you don't need a hundred plus million dollars to make a good monster movie two the audience still wants a good monster movie so the audience is still there. You don't need an expensive budget. I trust them. At this point, I think Universal knows what they want. They know what direction to take. Um, James Wan, I trust him. Uh, no director has been attached yet. And they have the writer for from the Supernatural show, which I love Supernatural. So I don't know. I got good vibes about this. I think... Um, I think that that this will work out and I from what it sounds like also as well is that this movie will be about Frankenstein but yeah it, Frankenstein cuz I mean who else is there we got what Wolfman Dracula the creature from the Black Lagoon um the Phantom of the Opera uh, the mummy yeah frankenstein is the only one that really fits if that story is true he's the only one that really fits the bill of that light synopsis so let me know in the comments below if you're excited about james wan producing the next universal monster movie do you think it's a good idea that universal is now focusing on standalone do you think there's still potential for a dark universe or do you think they should just forget the dark universe focus only on standalone that's where their strengths are let me know in the comments below thank you for watching thank you for the support and i'll catch you guys in the next video